have the realization that, oh, I'm depressed. Every day. You know, something that has come to my attention lately in my therapy work has been misattunement. So misattunement is the experience of not being heard, seen, or understood for who you are. And according to my therapist, it's one of the most stressful experiences we can have. Disappointed, but not surprised. Obviously, our first experience of misattunement is in childhood. It just always comes back to childhood, doesn't it? The Harvard Center on the Developing Child says misattunement affects children's brain architecture. When a caregiver consistently attunes to a baby's needs, neural networks are built in the brain that support the development of communication and social skills. But when there's consistent misattunement, a baby lives in a state of constant stress, creating significant emotional and psychological issues. Fun! Really makes you think about all the bad baby advice that's been prevalent for generations, like, hey, let your baby cry until he or she or they self-soothes. Sorry, entire generation of parenting books. You created a community of children who grew up to be adults who stopped expressing their needs, rejected their needs, and essentially shut down and disconnected from their needs because we learned boomers aren't safe and they'll just abandon and blame you every chance that they get. Disappointed, but not surprised. What does this look like in adulthood? Well, are you someone who constantly fills up your schedule, overworks yourself, and gets overwhelmed and exhausted, but refuses to attune to your need for downtime? Are you in social situations that make you uncomfortable, but you often refuse to attune to your need to stand up for yourself and leave? Do you pride yourself on needing as little as possible? Do you stay in toxic relationships, friendships, or familial situations to the point that it's a detriment to yourself? Do you feel empty, helpless, hopeless, stuck, unseen, and misunderstood? Well then, congrats. Join me in misattunement. Hey, so about this first meeting? Yeah, I'm so excited to start this support group for people who are so unable to show up for themselves. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. The good news is all it takes to unravel this deeply embedded pattern is to consistently attune to yourself. So this is where reparenting work really comes in. Showing up for yourself, asking yourself what you need, learning that you can be seen and understood. It's really hard and annoying at first, but after you do it long enough that it starts to become like a habit and ingrains in your brain, you'll have no problem saying stuff like, Attention everyone, as you know, I love you all very much. However, per the sign, it is now 9 p.m. and I need you to exit my home. Good night, goodbye, and good luck. Get out now. I'm Anna O'Connor, and thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. Squarespace has an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business, complete with marketing tools and analytics to have your online store be the best she can be. For those of you who love to create audio content, you can use Audio Blocks, which allows you to embed audio on your site and tag the audio for iTunes when your audio block is placed in a blog. Plus, you can have multiple contributors receive selective access to your site's website manager. And don't worry, you own all the content that you put on the Squarespace Squarespace platform. They offer one-click data portability. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and whenever you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Anna to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace. Attune to them.